Yeah, there's no chance. If, if I see Roberts orchestrating a drive inside the red zone and I'm in the front stands, I'm getting ready. You know, I'm getting ready for that ball to hit me in the forehead. What is going on, guys? We are back with another video in our 49ers franchise week four. And don't look at the damn record because the 0-3 Cardinals put up more of a freaking battle against us than half the really good teams. I don't know what it is. They want to tank all the time. But when they face us, the tanking goes out the window. I will be tanking you for liking and subscribing on the video. Yeah, I said it. I, I have no regrets. Maybe a few, but not many. Roberts, of course, had a very good game last game. If you didn't see it, you should because it was uh, it was actually quite entertaining. Uh, medium accuracy past the 70 threshold. I don't know what that's going to mean, if anything, but maybe he'll be a little more accurate. I don't know. Short accuracy, one more away, and he'll pass that threshold as well. Of course, Player of the Week, I'm actually really curious. Pretty sure you get a lot of XP for Player of the Week. Take a look. Uh, 4,000. Decent XP for that. Where is it? Offensive Player of the Week. Yeah, if he can get Player of the Week, he basically at his overall almost gets an upgrade point every time. You know, with the training and all that. You know, if he got a Player of the Week right now, he would guarantee himself to 74 overall. So, yeah, Player of the Week is big, which of course, you know, we bring it up because he did have Player of the Week last time. We're a great team, and the thing holding us back is kind of Roberts right now. So, you know, let's try to get past that. Wait, do we have upgrades? Eh. This is going to be another dome game, isn't it? Is this like three dome games in a row, by the way? It's. It, I'm glad, because look at the time. It's freaking daytime. Maybe the next one that is be like, maybe they'll just somehow come out of nowhere, and the Cardinals will be fighting for a playoff spot, and it'll be a nighttime game. I just, I, it sucks. The two teams we have, the Niners and uh, and Titans, both have a high stadium, so the shadow effect is terrible. Makes me want to cry inside. Of course, Kyler Murray, Patrick Peterson still around. Last time we played, well, a couple times he played their DBs. A lot of injuries on that defense, but because this time they're uh, fully healthy. Murray looking really slow. We, we kind of have our own Murray. He's a bit taller, but very similar. Very similar indeed. Uh, but, of course, our guy's younger and maybe a, a higher ceiling just because he has a better team around him. I don't know. At this point, I'm just saying words, so what does it matter? Chris Herndon with a very average season. I don't know why they're bringing it up. <laughs> it's, just, it's just not that impressive. There's the man, Roberts. The man himself won't get the chance to see the ball as you know early on because it seems like that's the case all the time. Who knows? Maybe he'll get a chance to see it early if we hit stick fumble him. He will not have a chance to return it. Really should have kicked that up a little bit more because we would have had him pinned in the corner. Let's take a look at Kyler Murray's season. Speaking of, of course, rushing stats aren't going to show up. Don't know how much he would have had, but yeah, not a, not a great passing. Like, pure passing season, not great. I think that's pretty similar to ours, though. Ours is probably a bit better in the throwing yardage rank, though. Maybe. I actually don't even know. But overall, touchdowns, we probably have more. Nah, we just suck. <laughs> Let's just stop bringing it up. Let's just stop comparing ourselves to other quarterbacks. This just isn't, it's not going to be the year to do that. Look at the Cardinals roster. Any upgrades? Offensive line looks pretty poor, unless that center's like 99 overall, which he won't be. Receiving group, uh, you know, Kirk and Andy's villain, not terrible. They also do have Marlon Mack now, so you know, there's that work working for him. David Johnson in the past has had some games against us, so that might be good for us. And Buckner pushing hard. Into Eckler. Uh, Eckle, not Eckler. It's not uh, Austin Eckler. Remember in the Blitz, why not? We can cover pretty well, so I think we can get away with it. And the really good job by Buckner. He's a freaking monster. How in the hell does he make that play? Let's see these passing ads. If it's bad, I'm going to instantly skip it. Yeah, let's take a look at how good this offense is going to be today. Let's set up the inside with Kittle going deep. Perfect throw, Kittle could score. I mean, Kittle's really fast, but I definitely overrate him a bit. <laughs> like, every time something like that happens, I'm like, oh, he's going to score. Which, I mean, it looks like he is, right? And then it just, like, instantly reality just, like, checks in. And the real reality is they're going to have to spy or something early on because Roberts is he's starting to get into his own. They're just leaving that inside open every week. And that's going to probably should have been picked. Kittle is open for the first down, and he misses by a mile again. 
Don't get me wrong. I get it. He's a lower overall. Maybe we should be looking for really short plays. But, like, at some point, I've got to expect him to make a very easy, unpressured throw. Worst part is Burita got stopped for pretty much no gain. Now we're forced to try and get a nine-yard-plus pass, which don't even know if we're capable of doing. Holding right bumper. Good job, Roberts. That's, that's about all we can do on this offense is run. There you go. Good job, Pettis. First down again. Offense is starting to click a bit. I mean, of course, we know we have these guys that can run really good routes. Just can we get the ball to him? Oh, God. Breed is in trouble. Yeah. Derrick Henry on the read up. Oh, my God. Could you imagine, like, you think Derrick Henry's coming at you. He's like, oh, he's going to lower the shoulder. I'm just going to take the punishment, hope for the best, right? And then he doesn't do that, and he just obliterates you. Yeah, there's no chance. If, if I see Roberts orchestrating a drive inside the red zone and I'm in the front stands, I'm getting ready. You know, I'm getting ready for that ball to hit me in the forehead. Yeah, Roberts is super on par for the rushing yard, uh, rushing touchdown record, which I think Cam owns not even just in general, like not even just for rookies, but in general as well. I don't know what Lamar, I know Lamar had a 1,000 yards rushing, but I don't remember his touchdown numbers. Yeah, we should definitely break. Uh, we we might smash Cam Newton's rushing record for touchdowns. Of course, I don't plan on running a bunch of touchdowns in, but at the same time, we we had so many last week, it's almost impossible not to at this point. Second and ten inside. Buckner holding his lane, I and mean, there's just when you got a guy like Buckner that's holding two linemen up and he's not giving up way. It's not even about busting free all the time. It's about are you going to get pushed around, and if you don't, GG. Two on one, and you're not going to push him around. That's that's a GG. And there goes Kyler. That was debatable, but I like the attempt. What the hell is going on in this play? I would love to throw it. That's a really good throw. Oh, my God. I would assume that counts as a deep pass, right? Do we just need to roll out all the time? Oh, my Lord, I intended that to Petrowski. Jesus, Roberts. The inconsistency is painful. They're backing up. I'm not sure why. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. These blocks have been so good. Brita's just going to walk free. That's the biggest lane I've ever seen. Easily the biggest rushing lane we've ever had across any of our franchises. I get they were blitzing, so they backed him up just so nobody, like, could beat him deep. But, yeah, that was not a good adjustment. Should have kept him inside. Job, Fred. We give up a lot of those types. Kyler Murray's first completion. We have 10 points, and that's his first completion. Once again, we're playing to our strengths. We're throwing the ball when we need to, and the run game gets, a, gets going when it needs to. Fred? Oh, my God, Fred. You're a freak. You're a freak. Tip that tells me they're actually going to succeed this time, though. Maybe not. They're going to run it. And taken down by White on the inside. They should have passed that, man. If they would have just ran double slants, we'd have been done. Brita just slipping off. Does not care. He just bounced off him. Does not care who it is. That's... Yeah, best of luck to you. Best of luck to you, pal. Kittle? That's a really good throw. I get he was off a little bit, but under pressure... That's not an easy throw to make. I'm actually pretty impressed. Good job. Pettis going to be a yard short. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe the uh, maybe it's not. But that's not a bad thing. They are not ready for this. That's a really good throw. It's an amazing throw. We're going to hurry up to the line. They do appear that they did have adjusted. Really good throw. Come on now. Come on now, Roberts. Keep it up. Pettis could have the look. Safety could help, though, which he does. Damn it. Somebody come back. Got to throw it away. That might be the first throwaway of Roberts' career already. <laughs> like, so far, anyways. Looks like he might have a little bit of a lane. Nah, it's bad by us. Inside zone has done pretty well overall. Just a bad, uh, bad run. Yeah, that's that. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> They are, uh, they're QB spying us right now. Maybe had B, but meh. That's just coincidence. They're in a hook or something. He's playing a little shallow. I don't know, but 
It seems like a spy. <laughs> when you're counterintelligence. Oh god, I just almost killed Quan Alexander, I think. Buckner, you've been kind of struggling a little bit on pure pass rush. Wow, okay. I mean, I don't I don't get it. Like Kyler Murray's not playing well, right? Because it's three three for four for nine yards, but this guy's gotta give him a little bit of help too. I mean, that's just that should easily be a first down. Good blocking. He's open, and that's a really good throw. Trowski, no juke move there. Decent safety. Buddha Baker. It's always like knowing that you're supposed to hand it off there, but I think I still probably should have kept it. So it's really about where the numbers are. We're standing tough in the pocket. Oh, good job. Good job, but the other guy was there. Standing tough in the pocket instead of, you know, trying to move around. If we can get the blocks, which we have so far this game, we're just going to go for him. And Brita has got some speed. Uh, I'm sorry, but that was an amazing play again. Brita just using his speed. Really reminding me of the real-life Niners right now. They better uh, cook something up. I know their offense is usually very strugglesome, but they got to do something. And we even went for a strip there, and we brought them down without any troubles. They're moving the ball total this game less than we do on an average, like, second down. And there go. I mean, technically, it's pretty fair because Nick Bosa has made them lose even more. I mean, the Cardinals aren't good, but how many years is it going to take for them to at least do something? Roberts, run up the stats. Make people respect you. Actually, I kind of hope they don't respect him because keep uh, keep sleeping on him. And, you know, sooner or later, those those ratings, they're going to get up there. He's going to get more accurate. He's already showing it. At least it looked like it. And the run game has been just smoking him. Breida over 100 already. Oh, no. Did we lose the ability to? You know, I can't exactly guarantee... Damn, he did lose it, too. Can't exactly guarantee that he was going to... What the hell? I got to see this. Look at Burita slipping away. I'm worried about that injury, though, because he's taking a bit of pounding. Luck-wise, but it doesn't matter. And look at Roberts slipping away. Let's hurry up to the line. I won't run too many times in a row because, you know, I don't want them to commit to stopping us. I know it might open a few things up, but overall, I like running. There we go. I think that was the better choice. I was going to go to Kittle. It would have been close. You know, it could have been tipped. If it's overthrown, the safety picks it there. I mean, you have to really suck to not at least guarantee a safety play. Brita down to the one. This could be a, this could be a classic Roberts. Run to the edge. Damn, they stopped him. Okay. QB draw. They're definitely going to sniff this out. No, they won't. Number 43 just got caught napping. 12 seconds from the 47. We got one timeout. We are pressing hard there, and that press is going to lead to a Nick Bosa sack. You would think we would back everyone up, but I just don't trust their offense at all. I don't think it's great. I mean, that's, that's what they come up with. Try to strip them. Why not? The way this game's going, why wouldn't you? The only real danger is, you know, Nick Bosa coming out of the zone. We don't even need him in the zone. He's been playing the great the way it is. Ah, you got to catch that, pal. You never know. You're fast. Ron Riviera is the coach of the Cardinals. Interesting. Let's take a look at this difference. It's going to be wild. Oh, my God. Almost 400 yards to their 40. 50. Well, I don't care. It's trash. Like, when we play the Cardinals, we usually don't do this well. It's simple. But they're just not playing good coverage. Their freaking pass rush is trash. And their offense is even worse. Oh, no. From the 20. More yards on offense. That's unfortunate. They have no answer for anything we're doing. The only answer is that they hope that our guy misses the freaking throw. Like I said, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I don't know if that's just poor coding or what's the story, but... That guy, should, he was running, reading the running back, and then just misses. A triple option. We might be just throwing this drive away. It's Brita. You don't need to make the right read with Brita. It just doesn't matter. You do not need to make the right read. All right, Kittle. Oh, my God. Excuse me. That was a perfect block by the fullback. What? Damn, that guy's talented. 
Wow! That guy's talented! Pretty sure that's the first three and out of this game. Really decent looking punt. Really decent looking punt. God tier punt. The perfect punt, some would say. Uh oh, ooh, good job, Quan. We busted free, but nobody could get a hand on him. The biggest dominance in the history of this series so far. Nope, no first down. I don't know if they have one. I don't think they do. This is crazy. Arizona tanking art. If they, they're probably going to go in 16. It would not shock me. I could probably confidently say the only decent player on their team so far right now is that punter. <laughs> he's, he's the only guy doing things. Damn, he got to hit that throw. Another very bad miss, but it's another pressure throw. Well, that one is. You know, we're up by quite a bit. I have no worries about this game at all, so why not try to just throw it, see what we can do? Ah, Roberts with a fumble. That's fine. That's fine. I know it's not a smart play, but if he runs him over, which he has a full head of steam, that's a first down. Quan going to get a good jump on the ball. Okay, somebody going to come up. That's a touchdown. All right. Damn, we blew that. Back to the ground. Look at the total yard difference. Jesus. Oh, wow. Really good play by that D lineman. That was, I tried to angle it up, which obviously he's a youngster. It's not going to be easy to change directions like that, but that was a very good opportunity. All right, clear everyone out. Maybe we find someone over the middle. That's an amazing, I thought that was an amazing throw. What's happening here? Is the throw really off on that? Yeah, he pulls up short. Don't get me wrong. It's it's a little overthrown, but that should be caught. Come on. Get to that ball, pal. Oh, he's in trouble. He's in trouble. Oh, my Lord. That was brutal to watch. That is, oh, my Lord. That's, that is violent. He went to, like, three different sides of the line. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm getting flashbacks. Okay, good job. We should be on conservative, but I'm not really, you know, we don't usually play read option QBs. When we still try to hit stick him from behind, that would have been weird, but we, I would have taken it. The worst part is they're actually still in it now because we just can't throw an accurate ball to save our lives. There goes Bucky. Wow. Maybe they're not in it after that. Really good find. Oh, huge hit by Flowers. There we go, Josh Jones. We got too many good linebackers. I guys love that weird, like, dog, like, sniffing their ass move. <laughs> it's like, it's a little weird. I get it every once in a while, maybe, but. Ah, oh, we had to blow him up. We had to. We had to. We've seen, uh, we've seen the cornerbacks kill a few uh, dudes here and there. There you go, good D. There's not a chance he brings that down. He's got Derwin and Pierce right on him. They're going to go for the field goal, which I don't really think does a whole lot for them. They have a good kicker. Maybe they're just trying to show him off, but I'm not sure what this does. Oh, yay. Ooh. Yikers. Oh, my Lord. I thought he was just going to burn him. I thought Brita was gone. I actually thought he just outran, uh, what's his name? Buddha Baker. Really, guys? It's not that hard. I don't know who the hell I'm reading on this play. Rolls over for the first down. Not the prettiest play, but he got it. Our man likes to throw a decent curl route. Throw it away. Or tuck it. Do what you want. Second and 21. Now we, we can't. Putting ourselves in bad spots, but, you know, I don't really see this get that nice. That's a huge play. And look at the block. Look at him go. QT's a beast. Held the edge containment. Got rid of him at the perfect time and then took the extra guy on. Can we really throw this slant in? We'll slide. We're, we're not going to take too many hits. This guy's he's the future. We don't really have a great backup plan. You know, Tannehill, he's going to be good for a couple of games, and then the true colors are going to show. So, uh, you know, st stop worrying about the stats so much. Oh, God. Stats. Petrowski's wide. 
Yes, stats. <laughs> Got to worry about uh, you know the safety of our guy. Yeah, this is uh, this was just a smattering. This was just a smoke job. Oh, Bucky, <laughs> please, I want to see it. And of course, we are going to bring every single player on the defense. And he does not get it. Oh my lord. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. Don't do it to him, Matthew. Oh my god. The Cardinal should be ashamed. Did you see what he just did? Fair enough. You know, one-on-one -on -one in the hole. Not easy to make a play, right? But then this one. This one. Look at the other side. Oh, he killed him. Certain players that have come out of the game, you know, in situations like this, uh, guys like Brita come to mind, but I don't think Roberts will be one of them. I think he needs as much play time as he can get. First and 10, more like blitz time. Not really, we only have three guys. I was literally just about to say, at least for their sake, he, you know, for Kyler's sake, he hasn't thrown any picks. And then Apke decided to do what he just did. All right, Mr. Derek, you're not you know not a super easy job here. You know, they're barreling down on you. Let's see a dude get stiff armed. Let's see a dude get stiff armed. This team is too good. They will not be able to stop it. Oh god, they stopped it. Oh god. <laughs> Never mind. Forget any of the words that were just said. Kyoto, you want to just bust free? Kind of did. Good play. Did he get his feet down? He didn't. I was trying to get uh, the other guy, QT. Could be a blitz. They will not blitz. Uh-oh. Cross his body, kid. Oh, that's an amazing try. Not a bad throw at all. But don't get me wrong. They're going to get the ball here. But why punt it to him? Ooh, my boy Ross. My boy Ross on the drag. Yeah, that's just not a good play. I can't really say. I mean, Robert started off hot and then just missed throw after throw, man. Oh, come on, Fred. Come on. That was a nice little move last second there by Kirk, but we got to just blow him up. We should really chill the hell out. We're, we're going hard all game long. Ah, screw it. <laughs> uh, Andy Isabella for the first down Over 100 yards is Kyler Murray Not much of worse of a game than Roberts Nick Oh Nick Good try Jesus Nick really just Got unlucky there He burned the guy I'm not going to say I'm trying to get more stats But I'm kind of trying to get more um, Experience For our guys It's too easy. Not even going to make it hard on us. Roll roll them on the damn ground. See you later. I mean, like, best case scenario, how, like, where is this read option going to take us? You know? I mean, obviously, for Derek, maybe decent, but in terms of the quarterback, not really too far, right? Like this, you can actually probably get, like, a first down if, you know, they read the running back. Which they do. There you go, Roberts. Slide in for the... Almost 20 yard gain on the play. Oh look! Oh hello! Power option. We've got to be pretty tired here. I gotta gotta be careful. I don't want to lose anyone to injury. There you go, Derek. There you go, Derek. There you go, Derek. Run a guy over. Oh my God! That was explosive. It was like freaking burrito diarrhea. Really like burritos. Good job. We're gonna freaking no, no. We're gonna go for. 49 points back of the end no we're not that's you know that's where i wanted the ball so it was at least a good throw it's just not a great decision on our part for once bucky bucky oh my god yikers that is quite a size difference fred with the pick <laughs> try to just bring the blitz again and fred just takes it anyways Go back to that power option for the final play of the game. Hopefully, uh, Roberts doesn't get destroyed on it this time. Okay. Why wasn't he sprinting? 
Is my right trigger actually as messed up as I think it is? He just took off super delayed there. My, I mean, in fairness, my left analog stick, it drifts. My right trigger, I think, sometimes only goes to 75% power. Uh, and then if I click my left analog stick in too far, it gets stuck in position. So, uh, you know, I'm working with, uh, you know, a, a handicapped controller. <laughs> I'm not going to make excuses, even though it's, it's a very valid one. But... This controller is uh, basically in a wheelchair. This is uh, this is a disabled controller. Now, I'm not making fun of disabled the wheelchair people. It's literally just it's not fully capable as normal controllers. Just simply put, but I still love it. I still love it. I'm a proud uh, proud father. I almost said mother. Hey, it is what it is. Matt Breida, 16 for 185, three rushing touchdowns. We had five total rushing touchdowns. Derrick Henry with six for 66. Roberts, 11 for 79. Insane numbers. Of course, Kyler Murray had some insane numbers himself. Receiving. No real big numbers outside of Breida, kind of. Breida and Kittle. Breida had over 200 total yards with three touchdowns. If that isn't player of the week, I mean, GG. Breida gave up a sack, but he is like 15 inches tall. So, it is what it is. Buckner with one and a half. Bosa with two. Josh Jones with one. Half for D4 to half for White. Does that add up? I don't think that adds up. So where did the other half go? Do they just give you a half as long as you've been a part of it? I mean, it makes sense, right? Because I, I, I had a feeling, too. I mentioned it. Well, I didn't mention it, but my my brain and I had a, a conversation about it, thinking, like, there was a lot of guys in on that one play. Remember when you roll out to the right, cut back in, and, like, 15 people had a hand on him? Of course, already a player uh, point upgrade. It would be really freaking nice to get that... Uh, 90 overall ability. We'll see if we get a frustrated receiver. I don't really see why. Frustrated in a non-traditional sense, I suppose, because everyone should be frustrated on this damn team. Uh, really, no player of the week. Five passing touchdowns does not equal 230 yards total and three touchdowns from a non-QB. That j I'm just sorry. I, it's just not the case. That That's horse. Of course, we got some re-signings. Quan Alexander, what's the number? He wants a four-year deal. I think, actually, you would give him a four-year deal. It makes sense, actually, because he's, he's Superstar X-Factor. I don't know why I didn't, like, think of that automatically. He's definitely worth it. Superstar X-Factor, you shouldn't regress too hard. But, you know, after that, you'd pretty much be like, yeah, sorry, pal. It's, it's time to call it. But, yeah, we'll have some upgrades, maybe even a few more after uh, we do use our training. But that was a really good week for us. We're going against the 2-2 two and two Rams. Uh, we do have that loss on the season, which sucks because the Seahawks are uh, not firmly in first place, but they're in first place, and we're playing against a team that, you know, if they beat us, they could probably swap positions with us on top of it. So it is a huge game coming up. We'll see uh, if we can be the victors. We looked very sharp the last two weeks, so a lot of confidence going into this one. But Aaron Donald, it's having a pass rusher that's really good like that is going to make this 20 times harder can't run to that side of the field. Have to double team him at all times. Not going to have as much time to throw. This is going to be a brutal one. But hope you guys did enjoy. Maybe like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter, Jerome P. Care. Maybe take a look at my second channel, PK Your Plays. Been having a lot of fun on that channel. Like, no joke. Tons of fun on that channel. Anyways, hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya.